Hello, here is BB Walker. Welcome to my channel. Today we will be making some advanced setup of software and hardware instruments. But before we go forward, I would like to thank you for reaching 8000 subscribers. Yes, we have reached this magic score and I really appreciate your feedbacks, your comments and everything we have done till this time and of course I hope for next 8000 subscribers so if you don't subscribe please consider doing it now. Okay, so as I mentioned in today's video we will be combining Yamaha keyboard, groovy box, looper, audio interface and this uh, Analog Lab 5 which is an example of software instrument. Basically, uh, you can check my channel, there is a video where I'm explaining more about this kind of, you know, me um, this method of creation music. So instead of using hardware synth, analog synth, you can use software that emulates this kind of, you know, instruments and give you really nice sound quality. Of course, there are several other options. It's only an example because I get it uh, with my MIDI uh, controller, but um, here what you can see now is also the console, the mixing console of Focusrite Scarlett because we are using audio interface to record all these things. Okay, so let's go forward. What are the, you know, assumptions? What do we, what can we gain? What can we achieve with this kind of setup? So I would like to show you step by step all the elements in here and then we will discuss the advantages, disadvantages and what can you do with this. So please stay tuned, we will continue in a moment. Okay, so let's start for the set. Basically, what do we have in here? First, we got the looper RC505 and the following outputs are occupied. First, the MIDI output for synchronizing clock is going into Novation circuit tracks because I would like to have the synchronization be if I hit the play the circuit also starts to play but this is you know the things at the end let's keep focus on the instrument This voice which I'm playing now is not the voice from Yamaha itself. We are using Yamaha in this setup only as the MIDI keyboard. Please check the video when I'm explaining a few differences and possible scenarios. As you can see now, the volume is complete to zero. And the output MIDI, this cable here, so MIDI output goes to the computer here and we have this, um, let me switch. Okay, so a focus right, sorry, not focus right, analog lab four is configured to receive MIDI. So if we go to MIDI settings, you will see that digital keyboard, which is nothing more than a Yamaha keyboard, is connected to this uh, computer and the audio settings uh, so actually where the generated rendered sound goes out is the RC505 because Looper it is also connected with the computer. The interesting thing is that Looper also has its own audio interface. So to be specific, we have two audio interfaces here because I got Focusrite connected as you can see here. Focusrite is connected and the looper is also connected to the computer. So those two devices are connected. Okay. Okay, so let's go forward. We have discussed that audio interface and looper, which is also audio interface, received data, received audio from computer. So if I play something, it comes using USB cable to looper so I'm ready and of course I could record loops like this one. Mm -hmm. 
So um, thanks to this, so thanks to this, I'm able to record a lot of samples, a lot of tracks, you, uh, changing the preset on Analog Lab, which you can see here. So I changed the preset on Analog Lab, like hard bass, for example, and now I could play this on hardware keyboard. Okay, so mm, what it actually gives me. As you can see on the first track, I record some chord progression and I have now, it was uh, this preset called Selmo. It is one of my likes, Selmo, it was this one. There was only a few chords, G major, C major, D major and G major again. Uh, and now using this, uh, I don't know, maybe let's take this some kind of bass, maybe, drone bass. Let's try to record something else. I have set the looper as the pre-recording one measure, matter. so one, two, three, I could, of course, I could, uh, maybe this mic, I could, of course, uh, disable the rhyth rhythmic part comes from the Boss RC 545, but it's not important. At this moment, we will also can use external device like mm, synchronized groovy box to make bits, more advanced bits and making some tweaking. Um, but the, what is the super advantage of this? Actually, we are using computer only, as you know, the sound engine. We're grabbing those nice samples from Analog Lab, the synth that comes out from Analog Labs, go directly to our uh, looper. So we basically have. We get everything on separated tracks. We get up to five tracks in here. We can move it to computer and performing live. But as one of you have mentioned on my channel, five tracks is not always enough. And the problem that I have personally was with the drums. Uh, in my previous videos, I'm I was using styles from Yamaha to drums, but in modern music, more electronics, there are simple drums and we want to have more variation of these drums. But also if we have bass, for example, uh, we could um, it could be useful to use live played drums. So this is why I have decided to use my Groovy Box no Novation Tracks. It's actually first video when I'm showing it. Uh, maybe there will be a tutorial for beginners if you like, if you are interested in. But uh, in this video, I have synchronized using MIDI clock. The looper is master and the Novation Tracks is a slave. So it receive MIDI data and clock and tempo. So the tempo 70 BPM is set on the looper. If you are interested more in MIDI synchronizing, please check the cards. There will be also a video about it. Okay, so um, what can we do now? I have shown you how to add more tracks and now the interesting thing is that that if I hit the play on the looper tempo is synchronized which means I have tempo directly from the looper so the looper gives the 70 bpm tempo so I play it. So 
so I have this simple drum pattern in here and each time when I start my loop when I start my loop this pattern will be played in a rhythm synchronized it's absolutely fantastic thing okay so what else can we do here is the playing synth bass we got two tracks here of course we can So we could of course record those tracks inside the Groovy Box and play it. Of course the output from Groovy Box go to audio interface, this Scarlet, and everything is on a computer side. So if we take a look in here to the mixer, you can see that when I'm playing When I'm playing synth, when I'm playing Groovy Box, the Nova Tracks, this is how I call it, Nova Tracks is playing. Uh, and if I'm playing... If I'm playing the synth analog lab, actually, which is, you know, controlled by MIDI from Yamaha PSR, it comes to another track. And of course, I get two mics. First mic is here, second mic is here. So I could do a lot of things with this. Okay, so let's summarize the solution and why it is worth, you know, paying attention, why it's worth checking. So basically what do we achieve? We have achieved this, that if you have your nice and favorite VST plugin, and you don't want to play it on the computer because you don't want to use computer maybe, or you don't like your MIDI keyboard and you want to play on a hardware synth, you could use it, connect it using MIDI, um, and just play. And of course, you don't need a lot of computation power to your computer because we are rendering only one track at the time. Uh, so we are rendering one, we are playing it, we are recording it on a looper, switch to another track, switch uh, um, this preset in here and play another track. So we are composing our draft, our song. Of course, we are using audio everywhere. There is audio flying. The MIDI is only flying to synchronize clock between looper boss looper and this groovy box if you want to have bits and drums on a separate device of course instead of this device you can use another drum machine whatever you have and the reason for using it is because we like playing on hardware devices and we don't want to struggle with computers there is a video when i'm explaining what problems you could achieve <laughs> what problems you can face actually on a computer side and in my personal opinion this setup is pretty nice because i like this uh, this vst plugins the sound quality is really cool a lot of presets but i don't like to fight with computer all the time i want to mark some of my presets as nice tweak them and then play with them using my keyboard big keyboard big controller whatever you have so i'm actually operating everything with hardware buttons uh, five tracks plus two tracks on synth on groovy box plus two another drum tracks on it of course this setup could be expanded because we have also midi in here so we could use another devices that supports midi and put everything on a looper as a, you know, the heart of the system, the looper is actually the heart of the system. And of course, the audio interfaces is necessary if we want to record it back to the computer. And the nice things on the setup is that all this recording that I have done now is made live. So it's ready to stream on the internet. I am using OBS Studio and everything. Uh, this mixer here allows me to, you know, control levels and checking if everything is okay. So... 
if I'm okay with my levels, etc, etc. Okay, so I think it's all for now for this video. It was kind of demo, maybe some inspiration for you, some building setup. And of course, as always, if you have a particular concept for next video, you would like me to, you know, go deep with some kind of parts of the hardware or software that you can see here. You can, of course, write a comment below the video. So if you like this channel, don't forget to subscribe and give me a like. Thanks for watching and see you later. It was BB Walker.